Alrighty guys, here it is. A lot of you guys have been asking me to start a YouTube, and I guess this is me caving in. Finally gonna try to give it a go. I have no clue how to edit a video. I really don't know what I'm doing with the GoPro, but I'm gonna give it a shot since you guys wanna see, you know, the build, what goes into it. You know, I'll go over everything I did to the car. I'll have some racing footage. If you guys have any ideas that you'd like to see with the car, just let me know. You know, I could for sure make that happen. A lot of people like the racing scene around here in New Orleans. Uh, I guess I'll introduce myself. My name is uh, Brandon Yates. I'm from the New Orleans area. I am 21 years old. I built this car with my brother and one of my friends who I met through my brother. He's a good friend of mine now. We built this car in the garage. It took about two and a half months of a lot of curse words and busted knuckles and a lot of obstacles we had to overcome. But now we have this beautiful car that runs like a dream. Here's a little cold start for you guys. Gotta love the sound of that coyote. Alright, uh, this is the view from the interior of the car from the driver's side. Uh, pretty ugly 2002 interior you know they kept it very simple back then but simple is good sometimes uh, don't get used to this steering wheel tomorrow actually I'm getting the Ford performance racing steering wheel with a detachable hub and everything that'll be coming in uh, these seats I have the Kirky aluminum bucket seats ordered they're in actually uh, with this coronavirus and shipping has kind of been a pain in the butt So I got the seat and the bracket. I didn't get the pad and I didn't get the passenger seat bracket or pad Those are on back order for like over a month. It says I'm not sure if I'm gonna cancel the order and try to order it somewhere else or Whatever, but me and a buddy are gonna try to put the racing seat in tomorrow with the bracket They didn't send the hardware or anything. So I guess I'm gonna mark everything up drill some holes and then run to the local hardware store try to get that seat all fabbed up you know a lot of the stuff on this car that's been the story of it you know customization I could damn near start my own Yates fabrication shop by now you gotta make things work with a build like this so that's that um, all right so we could go for a drive and I'll kind of try to talk while I drive talk a little about the car future plans with the car plans with the channel I guess if I do keep posting to it we'll see how this goes but uh yeah the car is a five-speed car it's a manual I knew I wasn't gonna have the fastest car in the street or anything like that I really just wanted a fun car to play around with so that's why I kept it a manual um, with the, oh yeah, so this is a Coyote swapped New Edge. I'll get into the details of that in a little bit, but uh, it has a built TR3650 trans. It's kind of those buy once, cry once type things. We bought the trans for, you know, a good amount of money, but we shouldn't have to upgrade the trans anytime in the near future, even if we wanted to boost the car, this trans is rated to hold that kind of power. Uh, yeah, you don't see this kind of car often, you know, it's very unique. You don't see many Coyote swapped new edges out there because it is a very hard swap to do. That's a huge motor to put into this small of a car. And it, you could tell it's not meant to go in there. Uh, I'll open the hood a little later and show you guys. bolt-on car and uh, it's got about 450 wheel horsepower on the dyno on a Mustang dyno uh, I mean it pulls it pulls like crazy the next thing I do have 410 gears ordered for the car and that will spice it up a lot down low we went uh, to Mexico last weekend and actually raced the car against a bolt-on 2015 GT and the only thing that I really noticed with the car is that as soon as we hit it, 
that guy would take like a quarter, maybe a quarter, half a car, jump out on the new edge. And uh, that's because of the gearing with the car. The, this car has an 8.8 .8 inch rear end, forward rear end in the car, but it comes stock with 327 gears. So those long, those gears are so long. Like at the end of fourth gear, I'm way wrapped past 150 miles an hour. So on the dyno, at the end of fourth gear, it actually, the wheel speed was 165 miles an hour. And I would like to get that wheel speed down to like 130, 135 at the end of fourth. Cause that's where you're not really going to be doing that in the quarter anyway. So with these gears, I would just be coming out of third in the quarter mile where I want to be long into fourth gear in the quarter mile. So I think I've been doing a lot of reading and everything and those 410 gears are highly recommended. This isn't a daily driver by any means. I have a pretty nice daily driver that I'm very grateful to have so I could actually build this car how I want it and not have to daily drive it. Um, so the 410 gears will be in Friday. I get my tuning work done and the few things that I don't feel comfortable with done at a place called Tune by Norm. They have uh, Mitch and Billy. Billy is a great tech over there. Mitch does all the tuning and calibration work. Those guys are awesome to work with. I highly recommend them. I mean, their reputation speaks for itself. If you're in South Louisiana and you ask where to get anything done in your car, they're going to say tuned by Norm. They do great guys. We'll just do a third gear pull. power all the way up there uh, something you'd want to get done with this what I did get done was change the crank bolt and the oil pump gears because that's usually the first thing that goes with these cars are the oil pump gears so bound bounty I think boundary I don't know which brand it is makes a oil pump gear that is they say invincible they say you could pull out the stock oil pump gears and from shoulder height drop it on the floor and it would break into a million pieces and you couldn't break that uh, bounty or boundary. I'm probably butchering the brand. I forget. Uh, you could take that and you couldn't break it if you tried. I still don't take it to 7,900 or something. When I was racing the other night, I was revving it to probably 7,200, 7,000, depending on how close it was, you know. I mean, I'm not trying to lose a race, so if I gotta go a little harder, I gotta go a little harder, but this car being so light, being about 3,000 pounds, you know, seven eight hundred pounds lighter than the stock five o's the newer five o's you know twelve hundred pounds lighter than the camaros almost two thousand pounds lighter than the scat packs and stuff against those cars unless they have some serious work done to it this car is going to eat them up all day you especially notice that in the top end like i said earlier with the gearing down low those cars would jump out like half a car on you but as soon as you got into some power you came right I came right around them and uh passed them. The race is around 120, 130 I think because we're running out of real estate, but it was all the new edge after that. I mean I would have kept go I would have kept pulling and pulling and pulling on them and putting more and more cars in between so yeah on this car i do have the sve drag pack with the like all season radial tires they don't hook up that great but i do have a hoosier drag pack that gets the job done uh, this is the engine bay of the car like i was saying you could see that this huge engine is no easy task to get in here and then doing the headers inside the car just I don't think would be very possible uh, getting that head off is almost impossible with that brake booster right there the hydro boost on the brake you'd have to either take that off or pull the whole motor out uh, this is the aerated cold air intake the SVE 2 inch radiator um, that is the 2018 manifold this is all the control pack had to get super custom with the wiring the relay box that's the fuel system throttle body sink and vacuum for the fuel system this is the ecm off the control pack i'm gonna mount it 
inside this fender well here get it looking all nice but I mean it does the job for now it's just sitting there kind of zip tied down pretty ghetto fabulous if you know what I'm saying uh, but yeah please like comment subscribe tell me what you guys want to see with the car races who you want me to race I mean if anybody out there wants it I built the car for a reason I want to see where it's at you know just hit me up if you're in the New Orleans area we could run them for sure all right thanks guys later